1 John 5. Everyone who believes with deep abiding trust in the fact that Jesus is Christ the Messiah, the Anointed, is born of God, that is reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed and set apart from, for his purpose. And everyone who loves the Father also loves the child born of him. By this we know without any doubt that we love the children of God, expressing that, that love when we love God and obey his commandments. For the true love of God is that, that we habitually keep his commandments and remain focused on his precepts. And his commandments and his precepts are not difficult to obey. For everyone born of God is victorious and, every, and overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has conquered and overcome the world. Our continuing persistent faith in Jesus, the Son of God. Who is the one who is victorious and overcomes the world? It is the one who believes and recognizes the fact that Jesus is the Son of God, that he is he who came through the water and blood, his baptism and death, Jesus Christ, not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. It is the Holy Spirit who testifies because the Spirit is the truth. He is the essence and the origin of truth itself. For there are three witnesses, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three are are in agreement their testimony is perfectly consistent if we accept as we do the testimony of men that is if we are willing to take the sworn statements of fallible humans as evidence the testimony of god is greater far more authoritative for for this the testimony of god that he has testified regarding his son the one who believes in the son of god who adheres to trusts in relies confidently on him as savior has the testimony within himself because he can speak authoritatively about Christ from his own personal experience. The one who does not believe God in this way has made him out to be a liar because he has not believed in the evidence that God has given regarding his son. And the testimony is this, God has given us eternal life, we already possess it, and this life in his son resulting in our spiritual completeness and eternal companionship with him. He who has the Son, by accepting him as Lord and Saviour, has the life that is eternal. Who does not have the Son of God by personal faith does not have the life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, who represents all Jesus Christ is and does, so that you will know with settled and absolute knowledge that you already have eternal life. This is the remarkable degree of confidence which we as believers are entitled to, have before him that if we ask anything according to his will that is consistent with his plan and purpose he hears us and and if we know for a fact as if as indeed we do that he hears and listens to us whatever we ask and we also know with settled and absolute knowledge that we have granted our, to us the requests that we have asked for him if anyone sees his brother committing a sin that does not lead to death he will pray and ask on the believer's behalf that god will for him give life to those whose sin is not lending to death there is a sin that leads to death i do not say that one should pray for this kind of sin all wrongdoing is sin and therefore is sin that does not lead to death one cannot repent of it and be forgiven we know with confidence that anyone born of god does not habitually sin but he jesus who has who was born of God carefully keeps and protects him and the evil one does not touch him we know for a fact that we are of God and the whole world around us lies in the power of the evil one opposing God and his precepts and we have seen and known by personal experience that the Son of God has actually come to this world and has given us understanding insight so that we may progressively and personally know him who is true and we are in him who is true in his son jesus christ this is the true god and eternal life little children believers dear ones guard yourself from idols false teachers moral comp compromises and anything that will take god's place in your heart